Hello and welcome to yet another video. In this one I'm going to make some rainbow cookies for Pride Month. I actually was able to attend Pride uh, this year for the very first time ever. It was fantastic. Um, I've always sort of felt like I don't belong. Um, I do identify as ace, but um, I don't know. I've, I've got a husband. Um, I guess from the surface it kind of looks straight. So, um, But everybody was very welcoming and I was even... Um, adopted uh, formally by a tall elf wearing a, a lesbian uh, flag so uh, I'm gonna take that as a win. Anywho, so um, I'm making these cookies today. Um, I don't remember where the recipe comes from. I'm sure people will tell me if they recognize it but it's the recipe that I use for all my uh, deep dish New York style cookies. Um, the recipe is on screen so um, I always start with the sugars, which is dark or light brown sugar. I use light this time, but I do normally use dark. Um, granulated sugar, plain flour, bicarb and baking powder, butter and one egg. And you mix all of that up together until you get a dough. Um, now you can make these gluten free. Um, so you can swap out the, um, the plain flour for like a rice flour or like a gluten-free plain flour and they'll work just as well. Uh, they will be a little bit drier and as a result a little bit um, more crumbly. Um, I do make a lot of these. Uh, two of the places that I supply weekly uh, do, do ask for cookies, though only one of them asks for gluten-free. So. Yeah, uh, they do crumble a little bit. Um, I'm still working on trying to get them to stay together a bit better. Um, possibly adding a little bit of xanthan gum, that sort of helps a little bit to bind it. Um, so there's an, there's an option. Um, and do make sure to use gluten-free baking powder if you're making these gluten-free. Um, regular baking powder is not gluten-free. Anyway, now that this has all come together as a dough, I'm going to separate these out into four different uh, lots. You can obviously do the full spectrum of the rainbow. I only did four lots. And I'm going to dye these uh, with some food colouring. So as you can see, the first lot I did purple, then it's going to be red, and then I'm also going to do yellow and blue. Um, personally, I think this turned out pretty well. Uh, like I said, I would have liked to have gotten the full spectrum. But um, I didn't make like a massive, massive amount of dough, and so I split these just into four. It seemed easier. Anyway, you put your uh, food colouring in, and then just with a stiff spatula, you sort of just mix it all together until it comes together. Um, you'll see with the purple, it actually comes out kind of like a, I don't know, kind of a pale greyishy purple. and. Um, that, that wasn't that wasn't deep enough of a colour for me, so I just added a little bit more food colouring. Uh, yeah, see, that's, that's not a particularly appetising colour as it is right now. Add a little bit more food colouring, it'll be fine. It's for pride, let loose, eat food colouring. Um, obviously, I don't um, do this all the time. This is, a, this is a pride cookie. So later on, you'll see, I do a plain uh, coloured batter, so I don't add any food colouring to it. But instead, I add some... Um, like crispy M&Ms and I mix those into the batter where I would normally put chocolate. These are normally like a chocolate chunk cookie. Obviously I admit the milk chocolate for the rainbow ones. You'll see what I do later instead. And um, for the plain rainbow, quote unquote, like I said, I just make up the, the weight with uh, some crispy M&Ms. No, sorry, that's a complete lie, not crispy M&Ms. Uh, solid milk chocolate M&Ms. Um, yeah, so I essentially just mix these all together, and then uh, once they've come together, they are a bit stickier than normal. Um, I'd advise against adding more flour, though. Um, you don't really want to have like a really floury cookie, because it, it won't come out as nice, in my opinion. So, um, yeah, we'll deal with that later. So, um, if, if you do celebrate Pride, if you are part of the... Uh, of the community, of the LGBTQ plus community. I hope this is a fun little video. Um, maybe you can try this yourself. Maybe you can let me know how, how it goes. Um, I, I completely forgot to uh, 
actually add it into this version of cookies but make sure that you do add like a teaspoon of uh, vanilla or any other flavoring because otherwise it'll be a, like a nice cookie um, but it will be a little bit plain so do add a little bit of flavoring and again flavor it whatever you want I mean it's pride go wild uh, flavor it like pistachio and cream cheese if you want I you know go wild um, but yeah, so uh, like I said, I did go to Pride for the very first time this year um, in Sirencester, and um, it wasn't a huge event. It was it was fairly small. There were about I don't know seven hundred people max for the whole day. But honestly, that was seven hundred more, you know, uh, Pride goers than I'd ever been amongst before. So it, it was it was it was brilliant. It was a great day. Um, the uh, the drag queens were incredible. The uh, musicians were incredible. Um, everybody that visited, everybody that I spoke to, was lovely, which is, you know, what I expect from one of these events. You know, people are just so welcoming, and uh, yeah, it was it was just a really nice day. And I even managed to buy myself uh, an asexual flag for the very first time which I, I promptly hung up from my, my, gaz my gazebo. I was actually uh, catering for Pride. I didn't just um, attend. I was catering for it, so I did all cupcakes that were like um, rainbow buttercream on top, um, gluten-free versions, vegan versions, these rainbow cookies, um, a rainbow rice crispy slice, which is you just make a rice crispy treat like you would normally, but again, you do diet. And yeah, it was just a great time. And um, I would love to attend another one in the future if if I can. So as you can probably see on screen now, I've decided to add to my um, rainbow cookies some white chocolate buttons. Um, I initially was going to do some um, white chocolate drops, but um, buttons were actually all I had on hand. They're actually uh, they're Milky Bar uh, buttons. And I basically, I just wanted them to have a little bit of chocolate, a little bit of extra. Um, they could be a little bit plain if they were just the uh, rainbow dough. So, um, so yeah, so I've just added these buttons and I'm just going to whip through uh, constructing the rest. So as you can see, I just take a little chunk of each and um, put them on my scales. I want them to be around the 80 gram mark, 85-ish um, gram mark. I want the cookie at the end to be about 100 grams, so I make up the rest with the chocolate buttons. Um, and as you can see, I'm flouring my hands because this is quite sticky. So if my hands are floured, then it will stick to me less, which is great. I don't particularly want to have rainbow hands all the time, even though it's pride, there's a limit. So I'm just balling these up, putting them on a waiting tray. And then uh, once I've made all of these cookies, this, this mixture will make about seven or eight. Um, I think I ended up making seven out of this uh, but normally you can stretch it to about eight especially if you do 80 grams of dough 20 grams of additives so like chopped chocolates or nuts or whatever to bring it up to that 100 grams but i just eke out all my dough try to make it as even as possible put it on my tray and then once they are all um balled up i'm going to put these in the freezer until they're solid so i don't really have a time for that i just put them in for an hour maybe longer you could do these obviously in advance and then bake them from frozen um so i as you can see it's it's sticky sticky stuff um <laughs> it is all over my hands um you can wear gloves when you're doing this um i just find that the flour make that helps me move faster um and it sticks to the gloves regardless so the gloves are really just to keep you clean but uh, obviously you just wash your hands um, so yeah, so I'm, I'm just going to put this last cookie together, spread as much of my dough as possible, roll it into a nice little ball, and then put it in the freezer. So that's them. So like I said, I made about seven out of this. Those go in the freezer. And these are the ones I was talking about earlier. So these have actually been in the freezer, so they're actually a little bit um, solid already. But I'm just going to roll these into balls now. And I want to have them into balls rather than um, sort of flat droplets because I want them to be thicker. I want them to be deeper. I want them to be softer. 
uh, these are like a soft cookie rather than like a flat hard or a chewy cookie so um, I just roll, roll these into balls put them on a baking tray and then I will actually put these back into the freezer for a little bit um, just to solidify in this new form um, and then those will go into the oven at 160 degrees Celsius for 26 minutes and when they come out of the oven they are fairly soft but they will uh, solidify as they as they cool a little bit so this is them this is uh, I've just showed you I've just baked two of each one so rainbow on the left and then sort of the um, M&M uh, Smarties one on the right and I'm just going to take a little bit of white chocolate now and uh, drizzle that all over my cookies I just wanted to add a little bit of extra um, again it's pride it's rainbow I wanted to add a little bit of extra so I take some of my uh, rainbow sprinkles and I just put that directly into the melted chocolate and that'll stick on there and then with the other version of the cookie I didn't want the whole thing to be covered in white so I just do a little bit down one side and then these go into the fridge for like five ten minutes just to let that chocolate cool and set and that's it they're done that's uh, rainbow cookies in a couple of different ways they are soft they are absolutely rainbow packed inside as well and they're delicious and I hope you give them a try so happy pride everybody and hopefully I'll catch you in the next one see you soon